So I'm going to examine you for your oral cavity first and then the area behind and uh, lips and uh, uh, teeth as well, right? So in the process, you, as I said, if you feel any pain, please let me know, raise your hand, I'll stop. If I figure out from your exp facial expression, then face expression, then I'll stop myself, okay? So let me put on my uh, headlight first, right? This is to give you, uh, uh, give some illum illumination, right? Okay. okay. Okay, and uh, uh, okay, the, so the examination begins with uh, my examination of the lips and the, uh, uh, the mucosa. Lips has got mucosa part and then the skin and the line between the mucosa and the skin is the vermilion line, right? And then uh, we have to look at the, uh, um, uh, the lesion that normally will happen here would be actually the um, squamous cell uh, carcinoma or the basal cell carcinoma at the angle can be angular uh, chylitis or blisters or, or as, as, a, as a result of the viral infection and all. Then we look at the inner aspect of the uh, gum, which is mucosa, should be pink in color, right? Can you open your mouth and chin up, little bit chin up, okay? Then we look at the, uh, the teeth for any ridges, for any uh, um, uh, um, uh, any infection and all, right? And then we look at the gums. Uh, so the ridges, any infection, inflammation, swelling, or uh, for that matter, um, we see whether it recedes from the uh, the tooth. Uh, but this in this case is okay. Okay. So then uh, we look at the. Can you look up? Right. Uh, we look at the. Mucosa. Generally, it is pink, right? The opening of the parotid gland through this duct over here at the cheek, right? Against the upper second molar. So, so in palpation, I have to wear the gloves on, right? Mm. So let me put on the gloves first, right? So I will uh, actually have uh, palpate the tongue, uh, right? Uh, uh, so papillae and all uh, you have to see and the base of the tongue, anterior tooth of the tongue, lateral border and all, right? And then uh, uh, now by manual examination, which is very important in case of the submandibular and parotid gland. So what I do is I put, can you raise your tongue up? Yes. So ask the patient to raise the tongue up and then put your two or one finger. I use one finger, it should be enough. So one inside and one outside, and I uh, palpate between my two fingers. This is the submandibular, submandibular gland palpation, which is different from the submandibular lymph nodes. Submandibular lymph nodes are usually multiple if they are there, but submandibular gland is usually one. But sometimes you may feel a grating sensation over there, which could be due to uh, 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 the calculus. So this is the frenulum, right? So frenulum, sometimes exaggerated, then in children we have to divide it, okay? The, then next is the, the bimanual palpation of the parotid, which is a little harder for the patient because patient might gag, so we have to explain it to the patient. So I'm going to examine your parotid gland a little bit inside. Uh, I'll stop, very quickly I'll do it, but I'll stop if you gag, okay? So I, one finger here at the, uh, anterior pillar and the other there, and then between these two fingers, I, the, I examine uh, the parotid, particularly for the deep lobe of the parotid, okay? So that's uh, done. So